Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to your wonderful seventh grade teachers. Woo -woo! Woo -woo! Yeah. All right. So, Miss Jackson here, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to what you're going to be doing for the next three weeks. And then your other teachers will take you through the specifics. So first thing you need to know is for the next few weeks, when you log into Google Classroom, you will no longer see assignment one and two. It'll just be a week by week assignment. Um, there will be three different choices that you can choose from. Choose one, just one, uno, just one, okay? Now, muy importante, so listen up. The only one you can't switch from is The Outsiders. If you choose to read the chapter book, which it's wonderful, The Outsiders, you have to stick with that one and Mr. Miles will walk you through that. Your other two choices will be short stories and nonfiction. The short story will be one per week. The nonfiction articles will be two per week. You can change those, okay? So like if week six, you chose a short story, week seven, you can choose nonfiction, you can flip back and forth, that's fine. But think of the outsiders like a marriage, you're stuck with it, all right? All right, we're moving on to Mr. Miles. All right, guys, so for the outsiders, we've got the book for you in PDF version, broken down by chapter. It'll be an Ed Puzzle, and Ed Puzzle is really nice because it'll track along as you read. So if you don't want to read it all at once, pause it. It'll save your progress, and we'll give you the YouTube link. So you can do any of those three options however you want to read it. We're going to ask that you read four chapters a week. They're not very long. It's not a lengthy book. It's shorter than probably, than definitely Liddy, definitely shorter than Liddy. So we'll be able to finish this in no time. Once you finish four chapters per week, we've created a flip grid that all your teachers can view and there'll be four or five, six questions on there. And we're going to ask that you answer at least one of them. All right. And there'll be some kind of engaging discussion from your from your classmates on all tracks, answering the same questions on the same flip grid. So when you read four chapters, you're done reading for the week. You go to the flip grid link and you record your answer and then you're done for the week. And after that, if you want, Go ahead and look at all your other peers' responses, and you can like it and even do a reply to them if you have something to say to it. All right, I'm passing it to Miss Royal, who is above me. Hey, guys. Um, your next option is short stories. Like uh, Miss Jackson said, you're going to have the opportunity to read one short story a week. And how it's going to go is we're going to assign the short story, um, and then you'll have a chance to read it in Edpuzzle, but you'll also have the chance to, you'll have the PDF version of it, or like Mr. Miles said, you can go to YouTube and listen to it. We prefer that you go through Edpuzzle um, because there are assignments through that. After you read the short story, you will have a quick little reading check. And then you will also then have maybe an extension activity that you have the choice to do. We've picked some great stories and you're gonna love them. So I'm gonna pass it to Miss Cassie, who's right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Hi, guys. Last option is nonfiction articles. So we have been using Common Lit um, for nonfiction and we will continue to do what we're going to do is focus on a different genre or topic every week. So one week might be like a space or science and technology article. Um, the next week might be history or sports. Um, arts, music, all different options. So you're going to be reading two uh, nonfiction articles per week from Common Lit um, and they will be assigned to you. But remember, if you uh, have chosen outsiders or short stories, you do not need to read the nonfiction. And if you decide that you wanna read nonfiction week six and then in week seven, you're like, oh wow, that short story sounds really great. Um, that's an option too. Remember nonfiction and Common Lit um, will have four to five guided questions after you finish the article where we will be able to assess your progress and give you feedback, okay? So what's accountability gonna look like here? It's important to know that if you choose to do nonfiction, your teachers will go through Common Lit and get your scores from that. If you choose to do short stories in Edpuzzle, your data will show up from that. And if you choose to do The Outsiders, all of your teachers will go through the Flipgrid and check your progress on that. So your accountability piece is still there. We just thought it was important for you to know that. Right, the next three weeks are all about your uh, voice and your choice. So we're expecting that you do the work, but it's in your control. And how and many we do you still do? enjoy everything? That's right. Sorry, Ms. Jackson. It's okay. How many do you choose? Come on. I can't hear you. Oh, why? Somebody one. just said one. 
One per week. All right, y'all. Peace out. We miss you.